I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign All right, all right, boy Trigger Man Back in the lab And today, what we have here Today, what we have here, we are doing a Cadillac Escalade hood. Um, as probably many of you guys know that are painting out there in the real world, um, the hoods on these Escalades, hood and the roof, how they start cracking up, they have some kind of factory defect, they all just go into hell. This here was cracked, we had to sand it all the way down. Um, I don't have much blend room on either side, didn't have time for a spray out. So they only got that distance there. No time for a spray out. Um, it's been raining like crazy in Florida. And I don't have a bake cycle in here. So I have to spray them, let them sit. I've been spraying stuff out in the shop on the other side of the building, you know, spraying stuff in there, letting it sit. So it's just things you gotta do. You gotta adapt to what you're working with. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm behind. So. Um, didn't have time for a spray out because we're rocking and rolling, man. So I'm going to try to make this work. Try to keep it, like I said, on the side of that body line and see what happens, man. See what happens. See what happens. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. Going to use the Segola, the 3300, the GTO, HTE. Is it HTE? Nah. I'm not talking about HTE. What the hell is that? The tech cap. This is the tech. I don't know where the HTE come from. Might be some other thing going on. But um, yeah, the tech cap, 1.3. Uh, still trying out this gun. So, so far I did, I did one, two, two jobs with it. Came out good, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Exceeded my expectations. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so we're gonna do that, man. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna use the cup system. Segola's disposable paint cup system. Gonna use that on top of this bad boy. And we're gonna see what we come up with, man. So. Y'all keep it locked, I'ma go mix up, mass up. Oh, paint code 441B. That's GM color. So that's the code, and we're gonna go mass up, mix up, get to it. Boom. All right, all right, let's get to it. Another one of these old big behind trucks, man. If you watch me paint big trucks in the past, and you've been on the channel for a while, you will remember me telling you that Trigger Man is slightly vertically challenged no NBA player here and if I was I would be like a Spud Webb or BJ Armstrong if you guys remember them but yeah man 22 PSI so what we're doing now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep everything on top of this body line and you see the way I had that gun angled going back towards the middle of the hood so that the bottom of my fan hits the edge of that body line. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing, spraying this hood. As well as climbing up all over the place, trying to reach the middle of the hood. But that's basically what I'm aiming, what I'm doing here. And doing something like this, you definitely want to use an extra slow base reducer. Being that, when you're at the edge of those body lines, at the edge of the hood, how you tilt the gun back the other way so that you're not getting sprayed down on the close to that fender, you're gonna have a lot of spray going back towards the middle of the hood. And that's something that would definitely cause all types of sand piling. And you could have the, the middle of that hood feeling like some 80 grit sandpaper. So, using an extra slow base reducer will give you that time so when you tilt that gun back that overspray that's landing over towards the middle you know it kind of melts in there has time to lay flat for you and that's regardless if it's a uh, metallic solid color pearl whatever it is if you're trying something like this it's definitely something you would want to use an extra slow if you're in hotter climates, you know, if you're somewhere up where it's snowing or something, you know, just use something a lot slower than what you would normally spray while using your base. So 
see and as you see as I come come close to this here I'm gonna start to tilt my gun back see I'm tilting it right here tilt it tilt it back see that spray that's going over towards the middle of the hood you want that wet and then what I do is come back over it just to go ahead and wet that up to keep it wet keep that base semi wet so it doesn't be all dry 22 psi again now you want to tilt it back you see the angle I'm spraying so nothing's hitting down nothing's hitting down below that body line and the little bit of mist that is hitting there it's not enough to change the color look at that tape there you see that orange tape there's no spray on that that's what you want to see and this is a tricky color so this would be one of those that I would be sitting there trying to match or have to blend and these colors here they have a real light flop sometimes they're light sometimes they're dark sometimes like the flop on these is pretty pretty funny and you'll see that at the end of the video when I show you when it's completed when I show the video from behind the hood you'll see the flop It's like it looks completely different and that's what I'm saying will throw you off if you put base down towards the end of that hood close to that fender nine out of ten times it won't be right so right now just basically just trying to get my metallics under control see tilt tilt it back tilt it back see that body line nothing coming down okay now here I dropped the I dropped the PSI about three PSI, I dropped it down three. And I backed up off of it a little. Just trying to get the metallics to lay down a little better. Because again, doing the way I did that, the way I tilted that gun down, and the angle I had it, you know, you may have to play with the metallics a little. But again, there's nothing. So I'm going in a kind of like a diagonal kind of way, like crossway, but not all the way cross. That's all you gotta do, just play around with them. Turn the PSI down, back up off the panel a little. Yeah, I'm spraying at like 18 PSI. 18 PSI. Probably double the distance off of the panel. And I, I normally don't do this. Matter of fact, this is the first time I've actually turned off the lights and done this see if I got my coverage because again this color is a little tricky it's a little transparent it looks kind of close to the color of the seal of the, the primer that was on there so you might think it's covered and actually it's not but everything was good there going with the clear coat now 30 psi and this is where it gets scary for me on these big hoods because I tell you man probably at least six times throughout my career I have stretched a little too far and just went hand down right into the clear coat my whole arm the spray gun everything right into the clear so I'm extra extra careful with that see I'll do half of the hood you know, I can't go down and spray all the way up into the front of the vehicle. So I hit it from behind. Hit it from behind. Like that. Uh -uh. And then I come around and I do the front of it there. Trigger man. So basically, butter, what you're saying, butter, you just a little guy, trigger man, huh? You can't even reach. You can't even reach up to the middle of a hood. Oh, man, you talk all that big junk, man. Oh, big lifting weights and muscle and stuff and man you just a little twerp trigger man you just a little twerp a little puppy with a big bark trigger you ain't doing nothing trigger man but it's looking good trigger man it's looking good though brother i'm glad to see you got your paint suit on man i like that man paint suit on yeah man you're doing all right trigger i like that gun too man that thing look like it's doing pretty good trigger yeah trigger Ain't got no complaints in this video, brother. Other than you can't reach up there, man. 
Why don't you go get a tall assistant or something, man? Get somebody to reach over there with some length on them arms, trick. A little spud web, man. Yeah, trick. Like that, you say you're vertically challenged, huh? Yeah. I guess that's better than being. Nah, I'm not gonna say that trick. You're mentally challenged, but nah, I'm not gonna say that trick. People get offended by that crap trick. Can't just be saying stuff these days, brother. But yeah, man, it's looking good, trick. I like what you're doing, brother. And again, congratulations on Segola sending you out a good spray gun. You finally off that Vivor crap. Had these people ready to kill you, trick. <laughs> Go hunt, man. Go ahead, Trick. Get your spray on, brother. Spray on, brother. Yep, so pretty much finishing up here. So that's basically what I got to do, man, on these big trucks like that. You know, I got to hit it from every which way I can, man. And even on the clear, you know, I'm using a... I'm using half medium, half slow. It's too slow would be too slow. And medium... You know, being that I got to kind of patch everything together, come from different sides and try to get it all to flow out the same. So I use half medium, half slow activator and it worked out pretty good, man. So, you know, these are just things you got to know, you know, things you got to do, you know. And at um, the end of the day, it's about the results, you know, how you achieve the results. You know, there's many different ways to achieve a good finish. But... But yeah, so this is my way on doing those hoods. You know, and a lot of these hoods, that's just where they mess up, right between those body lines and a tricky color. You can get, get away with it, man. I've even done it on white pearls, right to that edge, save that lip, and boom, look perfect when it was finished. All right, all right, we got it done, we got it done. Got it done, not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. Man, I had a damn fly or mosquito or something in here, man. It was right. Let's see if you can see it there. I'm a little bug, man. I had to pick them out. There you go, right here. Little bug, man. Hater. I know one of y'all channels, y'all sent them in here. Yeah, I know. I know how y'all get down sending your bugs in here. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, man, that's what it looked like. You know, ain't too shabby, ain't too shabby, ain't too bad, ain't too bad, ain't too bad. Ain't too, too bad, ain't too bad. Yeah, man, in my booth, it's like I got the damn, these doors. Let me show you here. Show you, see here? Let's see if I can do this here some kind of way. See, that's blowing, that's blowing. It's like, man, there's an opening right out into the damn rocks and dirt and everything. So it's pretty hard to get a clean, clean, clean job in here. And um, yeah, that's just one of those things, man. You got two, three openings in there and stuff fly in. And I mean, I don't get these bugs too often. I don't know what's up with that, but it happens. Anyway, man, so I'll try to buff that out and, I'll get it out in the sun after lunch and we'll see what it looked like. Oh shit. Yeah, that's smart. That's really smart because you curl over and be darker or lighter. Exactly. Yeah, both sides. Nothing, nothing on the sides. Just humor me, man. Leave it out in the sun for an hour. And that's basically it, man. So what I just showed you guys, a clip right before this where I was behind the hood showing you that angle. That's what I was saying, like, as far as the flop. You know, the flop changes. That look totally different than it does right now. And that's where you would run into problem where that hood meets up with that fender. But doing it this way, right on that body line, you know, you're safe. You're good to go. Um, and, yeah, I was showing you guys those gaps in my spray booth. Um, you know, not to, you know, complain about and give an excuse why that happened. But just to show some of you guys, man, who aren't spraying in, you know, this top of the line 
downdraft, you know, $200,000 spray booth and whatnot. Like, you can do this stuff anywhere you are, man. Just jump those hurdles and make it happen, you know? You know, I don't complain about that stuff. Um, just imagine Trigger inside of one of those spray booths with all the vehicles stripped down, taken apart, not have to mask up all this crap, you know? That's a dangerous man with a spray gun in his hand, you know what I'm saying? So... I don't complain about it. I just work around it. You know, I know it's there and I make it happen. No heat, no, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you guys can do the same, man. Wherever you're at, you're in a garage, you know, just jump those hurdles, work around whatever you got to do, those obstacles and get the results you want. You can achieve them. But anyway, this is your boy Trigger signing off. Please like, share, subscribe. I ask that you would please tell a friend. And after doing so, if you would please tell his girlfriend, peace.